All right. We're uh, looking at some action here from Dillard's Music Park in uh, Rome, Georgia. Hardcore Productions, The Bomb, Billy Love, and the late Hellraiser John Arden, standing tall in the ring. Chin Holbrook uh, just made the announcement. And we've got a uh, real heavy hitting uh, matchup lined up here. It's uh, March the 27th, 2004 here. Looks like, I believe that's Richard Wynn, who will be the uh, official. And uh, this, there's uh, no sound. The microphone on this cam, on the, the source, the microphone didn't work. Um, this was filmed on a uh, an older model VHS camcorder that I had uh, gotten at a Let's see, where did I buy it? I believe I bought it at a pawn shop back in the, like in uh, 1999. But every so often I'd bust out the uh, the old relic and, um, and film, film with it. Uh, there are a couple of other videos up on this channel that were uh, shot with this camera. I guess most notably would be the main event of, of the evening from, from this card, which was also a tag team attraction and had, uh, let's see, I guess it was Rick Michaels and, and uh, Bobby Eaton teaming up to uh, face Pomp and Circumstance were the uh, very, very dominant tag team champions for a number of months uh, at the uh, Dillard's Music Park events. Of course, Pomp and Circumstance is, um, or were, I should say, Sean Tempers and Ace Rockwell. And they were, they were managed by a guy named Aaron Voigt. Okay, the uh, opponents, oh, Bum Rushing Hardcore Productions, I guess that's the word I'd use, is that they did not even get introduced. These are the Brothers Grimm, and this is the only piece of footage that I have featuring the Brothers Grimm, a uh, intimidating, fierce, um, Heavy hitting tag team with the uh, let's see it's Rawhead Rex and Jerry Anderson and uh, their two two mainstays uh, based out of the uh, Chattanooga Tennessee and uh, North Georgia areas and that's Rex in the ring he's the uh, larger of the two brothers Grimm and he'll be facing off with the Hellraiser John Arden right here two uh, guys a little bit of caution oh Rex with the advantage working over the left arm of John Arden and I I guarantee you that you would not want to be in a John Arndt's position. Certainly not not anyone who was an untrained wrestler like myself. Okay, the referee's distracted and Brothers Grimm pull the old switcheroo right there. And, uh, you know, the ref didn't see it. That's a that's a mark of a uh, of a well-oiled machine. I'm sure that cliche has been thrown out before, but it'll work here. Now, uh, Irish.
Irish Whip, John Arden with the Big Elbow, and tagging in Billy Love, HCP, Double Irish Whip, Double Hip Toss, and Billy Love putting the boots to uh, Rex, who uh, slides out under the rope to uh, regroup and reassess the match. And again, I mentioned this was March the 27th, 2004. And for me, this was my uh, second event of that day. I had filmed an event earlier in the afternoon in uh, Chatsworth, Georgia at the, uh, the Bilo Center, which was uh, headlined by uh, um, Adam Jacobs versus Glacier, former WCW star Glacier. And that was a great, great match, great event. I uh, have uh, plenty of videos up on this YouTube channel from from that one. Uh, let's see, Rock and Roll Express, uh, Jimmy Golden, Mass Nightmare, Action Mike Jackson, they were all in the house. Sonny Siaki. It was a. Uh, it was loaded. And then that that evening, you know, I went to Dillard's, shot video. That was a big day for me. All right, Rick's back in there with Billy Love. I don't think that's a chin lock. Well, it's the top of a chin lock, I guess. Looks a little different. I zoomed in, I guess, apparently a little bit. Having some coffee here, gentlemen. Big backdrop. I have seen Billy Love take a few backdrops. Oh my goodness! All right, Rex going for the going for the cover, but. More than anything, he wanted to uh, to kind of goad John Arden, playing uh, playing some mind games there, if you will. Let's see another standout match from this particular event, which is is up here on this channel. Was the um, let's see, it's. Uh, a guy that wrestled as Strychnine, not the Strychnine that you're thinking of. This uh, this guy was a ninja, and uh, they, he was uh, let's see, the Caucasian Asian Strychnine wrestled uh, Jason Spice with uh, manager Jackie Spice, uh, Tank and Adam Jacobs also faced each other here on this event. Tell you what, uh, the NAWA Ring Champions run from like, uh, I guess it was the run that began in 2002 and ended in early 2005. There's some great history from, uh, from those events. We see Rex uh, choking Billy Love over the top rope with him draped over and John Arden uh, so frustrated. I mean, you know, Hardcore Productions uh, definitely you talk about tag teams in, uh, I guess, Georgia wrestling from the last, uh, I don't know, some 20 plus years. You gotta think HCP, one of the most uh, dominant and uh, maybe prolific tag teams. Definitely. Oh! Double thrust. 
And sends, well, sends Billy Love out to the floor like he was going to, he's going to send him out over the top rope and Billy Love was able to kind of protect himself a little bit. Ah, Rex teased the, teasing the dive. He didn't go, oh, okay, John Arden now, he's, uh, about had enough. Billy Love's in the wrong corner, the wrong part of town, if you will. Big chop from Rex. And if it wasn't for the top rope there, Billy Love wouldn't likely be on his feet at all at this point. It might surprise me, though, as a reversal. Did the reversal, some few chops of his own. Tag into Jerry. Well, Jerry Anderson was tagged, but he hadn't made his way into the ring yet. Billy Love would have done him, done well to tag out right then when he could. The flying burrito looked like a move you'd see um, done. Oh, what was the guy's name? Ah, Manny Fernandez. No disrespect intended. Couldn't. Couldn't remember the name. Manny Fernandez used the flying burrito for years as a finisher. And finally, we're seeing a tag to the Hellraiser, John Arden. And he's he's been chomping at the bit. Cleaning house, HCP. Well, John Arden standing, standing large uh, and in charge. And that action spilling out to the, the floor. I can't really, I mean, the uh, Rex is a good deal larger than Jerry Anderson. However, um, it's hard to tell, tell them apart when they're not standing side by side here in this match. I believe that was... Anderson getting a, I believe that was Anderson being pinned by Billy Love. And now there's Rex with a steel chair. Oh my goodness, he walloped him just right across the head. Big leg drop. And these uh, brothers Grimm, what an outstanding tag team. And uh, this is the only piece of footage I have featuring this tag team. They left Hardcore Productions laying flat out in the middle of the ring at Dillard's Music Park in Rome, Georgia. My goodness, that's a very, very impressive showing. I guess this is a... Uh, hopefully this match will... Uh, Get some, get some likes and plenty of views. A piece of Georgia wrestling history right here on Pierce Tapes.